LCX is up 27.9%. The question is, what is behind this recent pump? Before we take a look at that, we will also be taking a look at six simple steps the average person can take today to improve their finances. If you think that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get it. There are several steps one can take to improve their finances, but in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six simple steps you can apply today to start improving your finances. Step number one, create a budget. I know this sounds like a joke to many of you, but the first step to improving your finances is to understand where your money is going. Create a budget to track your income, which is how much you are bringing home, how much you are earning, and expenses, which is how much you are spending. This will help you to see where you can cut back on spending and also begin to save more money. This is very crucial. It's a crucial step to improving your finances. Step number two, reduce debt. High levels of debt, especially credit card debt, can be a major burden on your financial future. So many people today have credit cards they have no business having, They're using it to buy stuff they have no business buying. Try as much as possible and begin to cultivate the habit of paying for things with cash and also make paying off debt a priority by creating a debt repayment plan and also sticking to it. Most people create debt repayment plans, but the problem is they do not stick to it. In order to improve your financial future, you have to make sure that when you create a plan to pay off your debt, you are sticking to it. Step number three, save regularly. Without saving money, you have nothing to invest. So building an emergency fund and saving for long-term goals like retirement is important. Start by saving a small amount each month and gradually increase that amount as your income grows. You have to understand that 10% of what you make is yours to keep. It's a financial principle. You cannot work and spend all you earn. 10% of what you earn is yours to keep. Make sure that every paycheck you get, you are putting aside 10% of that and figure out a way to manage the rest. If you do that consistently enough, you will begin to make your way towards financial freedom. Step number four, invest wisely. Investing your money in a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds, and other assets such as cryptocurrency can be a major way to help you grow wealth over time. As you already know, cryptocurrency provides a lot of benefits to investors that are in the space right now. The reason for that is this is a growing economy and we don't know what these projects are going to be in future. So there is a lot of upside to a lot of these projects. When we are talking about stocks and bonds, investing in these assets can give you some level of returns, but it's not as much as what you can get in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Investing in cryptocurrency ecosystem is high risk. If you are someone who cannot tolerate high risk, then buying stocks or bonds might be the way to go. But if you can still mark high risk, then cryptocurrency might be just right for you. Before you do anything, consider seeking the advice of a financial advisor if you are unsure where to start. Step number five, spend wisely. You have no business going on a vacation if you don't have anything saved up for the future. First of all, be mindful of your spending habits and look for ways to cut costs on everyday expenses such as groceries and utility bills. When it comes to groceries, the question you have to be asking yourself is, are you buying what you need or what you want? Understand that needs are necessities. They are things that you need in order to live. Your wants are things that you kind of crave for, but they are not necessarily something that you need. So you have to pick and choose what you are going to let go in order to be able to keep your head above water. Step number six, plan for the future. Make a plan for your financial future by setting clear goals such as buying a house, starting a business, or saving for retirement. Having a plan in place will help you make informed decisions about your finances and ensure you stay on track. Remember, improving your finances takes time and effort, but small changes today can make a big difference over the long term. These are the six simple steps I have used personally to transform my finances and I'm still using them till today. So if you apply them, I can guarantee you that you will definitely see results. Let's go ahead and do some technical analysis on LCX, which is a utility token for the Liechtenstein Exchange to see where the price is headed in the immediate short term. I'm on the one hour chart for LCX and we are now trading 
at 0.128 cents. That is just a little bit under 13 cents. Anyone who has been watching this channel knows that I've been talking about this breakout for some time now. The reason for that is we have been trading in this descending wedge for almost a week and a half. Anytime you see a descending wedge, you have to understand that 75% of the time, it ends up breaking out to the upside and 25% of the time, we might see a breakdown to the downside. I knew it was just a matter of time and we will see that move towards the upside. And right now, as we speak, we are seeing this particular project break out of this descending wedge towards the upside. The question on your mind is, where can we expect to see the price of LCX in the coming days? First of all, we have to get above this level of 0.136 cents. If we are able to get above that, then we can come back to retest this previous level of 0.152 cents. If we can blow through this within the next 24 hours, guys, I believe we will be heading towards 20 cents for the price of one LCX before the end of this week. This is not financial advice. Do your own research before investing any of your hard and money into a volatile cryptocurrency market. But if we blow through both levels within the next 24 hours, definitely we are heading towards 20 cents per LCX. So it is exciting to watch. Even my indicators for LCX is showing strong buy right now. And um, if I click for more technical indicators, you can see right here that the moving averages and the summary is all indicating a strong buy for LCX. The relative strength index, which is the RSI, is at 61, which is not bad. We are not in the overbought territory yet, so more people are going to step in and buy. And um, good things are going to happen from here. It's just a matter of time. So I'm excited to see this play out. Dollar cost average, do not put all your money into this market at once. That is how you get wrecked. So in order to leave your emotions out of it, just gradually dollar cost average into this project. During the previous bull cycle, investing in cryptocurrency changed a lot of lives. And in the coming bull cycle, a lot of lives are going to be changed as well. I believe we are witnessing the transfer of wealth like we've never seen before. And I believe cryptocurrency provides that opportunity. So not financial advice. This is what I'm doing. And I'm just, you know, sharing that with you. That's all I have for you for today. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next one. If you've gained some value from this video, please smash the like button and share this video with your friends. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button to be notified each time we post a new video. That's all I have for you for today. My name is Enes Cosmic. Thank you for watching.